Now, I want absolutely everyone out there to take notice, really take on board what we're going to talk about now. This is important. Facebook connects over 1.6 billion people to friends and family around the world. We know that the unique truth about social media is that everyone has their own voice. Everyone gets to be heard. And that can be said uh, for posts that tend to fall on the more troubled end of the emotional scale as well. So Facebook has incorporated a suicide prevention tool into its platform and the South African Depression and Anxiety Group will be facilitating the service locally. Ryan Edmonds joins us this morning to talk about what I think might become a watershed moment for social media, for, for the internet. If you take into account that especially something like um, cyberbullying and so much emotional content plays out on Facebook, why did they step up? What was the motivation here? What are we wanting to achieve? I think Facebook realized that they want to do more for people than just be social networking. And they realized that people are actually expressing themselves on so many different levels. So now they need to take the next step and say, there is something to do. There, there are people that you can connect with. It's so strange. We were just chatting earlier. You tend to speak to complete strangers and you'll put your feelings out to the world, but you won't actually talk to someone and have yeah. a conversation about what you're feeling. So people will post a status and now we have this exciting new launch where you can report content as harmful or self-harm content. And what happens after then is absolutely really fantastic in my opinion. Talk to me about those mechanics because yeah, you're, you're dealing with a person who is presumably already traumatized. So you don't want to add to that pressure. How do the mechanics actually work? How do we connect with these people once that, that warning sign has come up? In a very polite and very soft way, I would say. Uh, we've, got to, we've got to access people on a personal level but without really having to interfere and make them feel like they're being bombarded. So what will happen is once content is reported, uh, a friend sees a status now, for example, you see a friend and you're a bit worried about them, but you don't know how to approach them. You report the status as harmful content, Facebook will then go over it and send that user a message saying, we've noticed that something might be up and here's some options for you. Maybe you could talk to a friend and here's some ways you could do it. There's a helpline you can contact in your country and here's the details. Also, here are some self-help tips that you can do. So they, it's up to them then what happens from there. And obviously this makes your role as SADAC here in South Africa very important. How do you facilitate? Where do you guys step in? Well, we, we have a very important job. Uh, we get to, if Facebook believes that something is really urgent, then we have the right through Facebook to actually contact that person directly, which we've never been able to do wow. before, uh, and, and offer our assistance. From there, it's up to the user. So we provide services such as online counseling, we do support groups, we run an, a referral guide where we can get people immediately to a doctor, a psychologist, a psychiatrist, a counselor, whatever they need in that moment. We will contain, we will refer, we will follow up. So suicide, depression, anxiety, bipolar, anything in that field, we will deal with it and we will continue the follow-up until we know that that person is sorted out. Oh, this is absolutely amazing. I think we're going to have you back very soon to get an update to see how this is rolling out here in South Africa, but well done for stepping up, and I think well done to Facebook for stepping up. There is clearly a need for this.